Y'all, imagine what the Christians would have done if Joe Biden had come out to his debate all demonized with flies crawling on his head and shit. I mean, seriously, for you and me, it was just a really easy how full of shit is this guy set up. But but for them, it would have been Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies. It would have been the scent of death upon him. It would have been foretold in the book of Revelation. I mean, as a guy who's watched something like 32 trillion Revelation flicks for God awful movies, I got to say, there has never been an easier setup for apocalypse forecasters to make their case. Trump is exactly the figure that Christian filmmakers imagined as the Antichrist, less a European accent. I mean, all the fake piety, the cult of personality, the bellicosity, the utter and almost comical personification of the seven deadly sins. Hey, I mean, his son-in-law owns the building at 666 Fifth Avenue. The virus inflicting his presidency has a crown, just like the little scorpion horse locust things. Hell, the only reason we've never seen a fictional antichrist gas innocent protesters and kick a priest out of his church so he could hold a Bible upside down on camera is because some things are too on the nose for even pure flicks producers. I, I, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not saying that any of this shit actually lines up with biblical prophecy, but we're talking about people who were saying Obama was the beast of revelation because the beast was supposed to have the feet of a bear and bears were Chicago's football mascot. And no, I did not just make that up. And yet, here we have this fucking antichrist conspiracy potential served to them on a silver fucking platter. And not only do they pass on it, but they also like lick COVID infected shit to demonstrate their loyalty to him. And I, I, I know that Christian hypocrisy isn't exactly novel. It's my stock in trade after all. But one out of every four Christian movies released in the last 40 fucking years has been pushing the very specific message that if a dude like Donald Trump ever comes along, you absolutely should not give him political power. And despite lining up with the beast of revelations as though that's what he was going for, American evangelicals look from him to to the Bible and the Bible to him and pluck out King fucking David. Right? They were given a clear case of an immoral leader, but because their book of morals is entirely free of morals, they found an immoral leader that was a good guy. They, they found an example where the evil guy who did evil shit was God's favorite and declared that their guy was more like him, really. They, they, they literally reached into their ostensible book of morals and came away with an analogous character that allows Trump to achieve virtually any level of depravity without losing his evangelical support. I, David conspired to have a guy killed in a battle because he wanted to keep fucking that guy's wife. So yeah, by their high moral standard, he probably could shoot a guy on Fifth Avenue without losing their support. See, for a long time, religion has tried to justify its existence by pretending it was some kind of ethical bulwark. Right, They were the moral majority. They, they, they were there to hold politicians to a higher standard. As society's sense of goodness deteriorated at the hands of ever more violent video games and ever more lascivious television shows, they remained rooted to some unchanging, incorruptible principles that would shield them from the moral degradation of the world around them. And yet, when the nation faced an actual moral dilemma, one that even conveniently lined up with all their little silly left-behind prologue symbolism shit, theirs was and remains the least ethical response. If I may be so bold as to quote from a future historian, or dare I say all the future historians, the fucking Trump presidency was a moral gauntlet for America, and it is a test that we largely failed. But no demographic failed quite like the self-proclaimed defenders of decency. When the least among us were in genuine danger, the disciples of Christ circled their wagons around the oppressors. When we teetered on the brink of civil immolation, the followers of the Prince of Peace sided with the guy fanning the fucking flames when the test came the moral majority turned out to be neither